Valley of Valkyrie for one and the last two. I have to say that if I lived in the Train Song neighborhood, I'd be very angry with these site recommendations. Uh, both these sites are less than half a mile from Opportunity Village, and they're very well hidden from public view. And to be blunt, it really kind of reeks of socioeconomic discrimination to put every single city-sanctioned homeless project in one neighborhood. Mm. It seems the point here is to hide the homeless from public view so that wealthy parents of college students don't have to see any evidence of the poverty in this community. It's also pretty obvious to me that at least one of the recommended sites was not chosen for its actual viability as a site. The Northwest Chambers parcel, while better than absolutely nothing at all, is stuck between a sleep, steep slope of train tracks. Uh, I've stood in the middle of the city-owned portion in the rain, and I can tell you firsthand it floods. It's tricky to access by vehicle, and the vehicle access point is not even on city property, so you need to get permission for us to even drive up on the site. There's no sidewalk access. Anyone who's disabled has to be directly on Northwest Expressway in order to get to the site. I wonder if any of you have actually walked this parcel. And I really wonder how any pilot project is going to gain public support if it's completely hidden from public view. Uh, right to Dream 2 in Portland is right in the heart of downtown, and they've gained public support as well as governmental support because they've showed in the public eye that a homeless camp can be orderly and a good neighbor. Um, both the Broadway, Hilliard, and the 8th and Mill parcels are ideal for a small-scale duplication of r 2 d success. Rejecting these parcels because of their public location, frankly, is both narcissistic and kind of hypocritical. You have no issue with visual eyesores when someone's profiting, as evidenced by the architectural travesty that just went up at 13th and Olive. Um, this ordinance was passed over a month ago, and I really feel like we're dragging our feet. And frankly, starting with two sites doubles the chance that a successful model will be proven. Let's not forget that these are human beings. Two sites means you're aiding in the stability of 30 people. Think about it. Thanks.